Welcome back to CatCam Legend. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how can you use the flat and f flange feature inside group parametric sheet metal. So let's have a look on these two features in detail. First, I just made a planner wall by using the planner feature like this. See? I just edit this and I just made this wall for now. Now let's have a look on these two features flat and flange in detail. So first you have to look at the usage where you can use it. So let's have a look on that. When I click on flat and placement, you have to use any of the edge, either lower edge or upper edge. In case of the upper edge, you will get a result like this. We have subcategories, representative. L type, T type. Let me keep it rectangle for now. And you can just change the angle from here, which is actually this angle. And you can just drag it upward. You can just drag these from here. And when I just click here to drag any of the portion I can do actually what about this thickness this is this radius over here you can keep it inside outside and if for example and placement I have done but when I go for the shape and I will sketch over here Remember one thing over here, when you use the flat and go for sketch, you will get a close sketch. And let me just add some of the portion over here, like this, and trim the unwanted portion. And when I say OK, see? In case of flat, when you go for the sketch, you will get a cloud sketch like this. Now, if you don't want to be have this extra portion over here and your feature, you have to go for relief, change here, rectangular, and assign any value greater than this portion. See? Automatically, it gets removed. Now, after that, what I can do, when I go for the flange, I will only select any of the edge, press and hold shift key and select the entire edge. Each and everything is the same. This time we have an I type, arc type, S type open, flushed one, juggle, duck, C type, Z type. Let me keep it in I type for now. Just drag it downward. But in this case, when I go for the shape, sketch, sketch so in this case we will get an open sketch for example i just want to add a line like this and i will say okay so you will get a result like this see So this was all about the basic things inside the flat and flange.
so here you can just add the multiple things like this okay the multiple flats over here and when I go for the shape here one thing you have to understand that in this case the high dimensioning will include this radius but when you do this the high dimension will not include the radius portion sketch make it normal and this time let me just draw something like this and just remove this portion okay so the basic difference one in between the flat and flange that in case of flat you will get a closed sketch but when you go for the flange you will get an open sketch the secondary reason was that in case of flat you can just add multiple flats multiple on multiple edges by selecting them one by one but when you go for the flange, you can add them simultaneously only by selecting the shift key and select the entire edge. So hopefully you got the point and understand that how can you use the flat and flange features inside the group parametric sheet metal, which would be mostly used when we will deal with the parts design inside sheet metals. So you must know the different features. What were the basic things? What were the important things? I had just discussed them with you people right now so you can use it by designing the different parts inside the crew parametric sheet metals so remember one thing if you are new on my channel so please don't forget to subscribe our channel and become a part of our community because it's free of cost thanks for watching